Hey guys, it's Crystal. Sorry about the lighting. I'm in a hotel. I'm on a business trip in North Carolina. I'm bored. I'm missing my puppy and my husband. So I decided to do the planning tag. So I'm going to go through this as quickly as possible. And also, if you see me looking down, it's because I'm reading the questions that I wrote down. So let's get started. The first question is, will you find out the gender? And we do plan on finding out the gender. I just don't think I could wait. Um, just waiting nine months is just going to drive me crazy. My husband doesn't care either way, but since I want to find out, he says, you know what, that's fine, we'll find out. So, yes, we do want to find out the gender. The second question, will you use a pacifier? And I think this depends on the baby. If the baby takes to it, we will. Most babies I see do love pacifiers. So I think it all depends on what our baby wants. If not, that's fine. If so, that's fine too. The second question, do you have nursery ideas? And I do. I'm super excited about it. If we have a girl, we plan on doing a monkey theme. And they have a lot of cute colors and prints for monkeys for girls. I've seen purple and pink. And if we have a boy, we're probably going to do either a frog or a rainforest theme, which I've also seen and is super cute. The second question is, are you the first, middle, or last of your friends to TTC? And I fall in the middle. I have a best friend who has three children, and her oldest, I think, is six. And I have a couple friends who haven't found their husband or the one yet and will love children someday, but they are not in that stage in their life yet. So I fell in the middle there. Um, will you use hand-me-downs? Yes, I will definitely use hand-me-downs. I'm very um, into using things if it's in good condition, if it's usable, and I personally think a lot of people buy too many things for their kid that they will never use. I'm, I'm a big person um, opposed to wasting, so I definitely will be using hand-me-downs. The next question, how close in age do you want your children to be? Ideally, I would like to wait until my first child is a year, until we try again. The reason for that is I'm 28 and I would like to have all my kids by the time I'm 31. Excuse me. Um, my husband agrees with that. So hopefully it'll happen. I know my mom got tr had trouble having another child after me, and me and my brothers are five and six years apart. So we'll just have to wait and see what happens, but we do want to wait till our first child is at least a year before we try again. The second question, will you make your own baby food? And I definitely want to make my own baby food. I want to start a garden soon whenever we get our yard fenced in because we live in the forest and we get little critters who come and I know they'll eat all our our food in our garden, so I definitely plan on making my own baby food. The reason for that is very cost effective and plus I'll know what I'm feeding my child. So we definitely plan on doing that. The next one is will you co-sleep? I don't want to co-sleep. What we will end up doing until the baby's probably three months is putting it in a pack and play. We don't have a bassinet, and we don't plan on buying one. Unless someone donates one to us, that's what we plan on using. I don't want to co-sleep just because two reasons. One, the fear of rolling on the baby. And two, I don't want the baby to be dependent on sleeping with us. You know, I know that becomes an issue with some parents, and I don't want to start bad habits. So I don't plan on doing that. Um, will you use a stroller? Yes, we will definitely use a stroller. I plan on walking my dog, getting outside, getting some exercise for myself, my dog, and getting my baby outside. So we do want to use a stroller. And let's see next. Will you work or stay at home? I plan on working part-time, actually 30 hours a week. Right now I work full-time. And the good thing about that is I think we can afford it because my sister-in-law will be getting a job that is working, I think, from 3 p.m. to 7 p.m. 
I'll try to work from 7 a.m. to 12, so I'll be able to pick up my baby. She'll be able to watch my baby. We'll obviously pay them. She's not going to charge us a whole lot, but we'll, we'll pay them. So I hope that works out. Um, the next question, how long will you wait to pick up your baby um, when they cry? Now this one, I don't believe in your newborn letting it cry, let the baby cry it out like some people say. I think, you know, if my baby doesn't stop crying after a couple minutes, a minute, I'll definitely pick up my baby and console my baby. If they're trying to sleep um, and I put them in bed, I will probably go in there, rock my baby to sleep a little bit, hopefully get it to sleep and put it down. I just, I really don't like hearing a little baby cry. I do believe in self-soothing, but when they're little, I don't think they understand that. So, I, I'm not just going to let my baby, my newborn, you know, cry it out. So, that's how I stand on that. How often will you bathe your child? When it's a newborn, probably every other day. I mean, their skin is so sensitive, so I think that's good enough. Unless, of course, they have a, an explosion <laughs> or something. Um, will you use a rear-facing car seat? Definitely, until the age that they recommend, I'll definitely use a rear-facing car seat. Will you breastfeed and how long? We definitely plan on breastfeeding and at least for a year. When will you introduce solids and baby food? We plan on introducing six at six months. I think that's what they recommend. And do you want a boy or a girl first? And... I have to be honest, I do want a girl first. I obviously want a healthy baby, so if I have a boy, I'm not going to be upset, but I do want a girl first. I need some woman power in my life. I have my husband, I have two brothers, I have a boy dog, a boy cat, I have a girl cat, um, but I need some womanly essence in my life, I guess, so I do want a girl first. My husband obviously wants a boy first, but... We will see what happens. Um, let's see. Do you have names picked out? We do. If it's a boy, we want Nicholas or Nick for short. And if it's a girl, we're thinking Emily. But that could very well change. So, But that's what we have picked out so far. How many kids do you want? We want two. My husband originally wanted one, but he changed his mind and we're planning for two. Will you homeschool? Uh, no, we don't want to homeschool. We have talked about private school if the budget allows, but we, we're we not going to homeschool our children. Do um, you want a home or a hospital birth? I would love a home birth. I'm just scared if there's complications. So we are planning on doing a midwife who delivers in a hospital. So that's what we want to do. And will you drink while being pregnant? Well, I don't drink now, so I don't think that's going to be a problem for me. <laughs> so, no, I will not. And will you cloth diaper or use disposables? I definitely plan on cloth diapering for a lot of reasons. One, it reduces waste. Two, the cost effectiveness of it is great. And it just seems like it would be more comfortable on the baby, you know. So, we definitely plan on cloth diapering. That was the planning tag, and if you haven't done this yet, you are officially tagged. So, I will talk to you guys later, um, do some updates. I think AF is on its way, but since I'm on a break right now, I'm just trying to get healthy and get my body ready for pregnancy. But anyways, all you ladies out there who are pregnant or got your BFPs, um, take care. Um, take care of the little one inside, and... Oh, I can't wait till I get my BFP. I will be jumping around, screaming from the rooftops probably. So until then, have a nice night, ladies, and I will talk to you later. Thanks, guys. Bye.